Hello and welcome to Feeds to Table with Japan by Food. Today I'm in Shizuoka Prefecture where one of the most famous things is quite large. This would be Mount Fuji right behind me. But Shizuoka is also famous for tea. As you can see rolling out in front of me and behind me are loads of tea bushes. Shizuoka is said to have the longest history of tea production in Japan and is Japan's largest producer by prefecture. I'm about to go and visit Honda-san who is the fifth generation owner of Marumo Tea Garden and he is going to be showing me just how tea is made right from the picking all the way processing of course to the drinking. So I'm keen to learn a bit more about this mysterious bush. So let's go find out. This is Phoebe's Table, let's go. This is Honda san. Honda san, could you introduce yourself, please? Uh, hi. Fuji san Marumo Chaen no Godai Me Nani Mas. Honda Mohei desu. Honjitsu yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Mo rekishi ga kekko aru tokoro. Hi. Mo ano 95 nen me gurai desu ka ne. Boku no hi hi oji san ga ocha zukuri o はじめて。で、その時の名前がホンダモヘと言いまして、このもっと言うのがしげるという感じなんです。サークルに感じを当てはめてサークルを丸と呼んで、もっという感じで丸もという屋号ですね。その呼び名が丸もという名前でこの富
東西にすごい長い180キロぐらい離れていてさらに日本っていうのはすごい地震の多い国なんですね。で地震はなぜ多いのかというと地球を構成しているプレートという板が揺れるからなんです。でその板の隙間合わさっている場所の真上にあるのが静岡県なのでちょっと横に数キロ動くだけで土が変わっちゃうんですよ。なのであちこちでたくさん作っているにもかかわらず同じような味香りの場所というものがないこと細かに産地が分かれているのが静岡の特徴です。What I want to know is a little bit about the process that is coming up。これ見てもらってこれはお茶の木ですね。この柔らかい新芽をくくっと曲がってプチッと取れるようなところでこれで摘んだお茶というのがいいお茶。でこの大きく摘んだお茶を番茶とかと呼んで。あの安いお茶だったりペットボトルの原料になってますこの葉っぱをですね蒸しますスティームですねで蒸すことによって葉っぱの中にある酸化酵素というものを止めますそしてその後乾燥させていって日本のお茶こういったお茶ですねですよ。The dark green leaves. These are going to ruin your tea. So let's not put those in the basket. So, Mount Fuji is behind me. I've picked probably not as many leaves as I should have, but I'm trying hard. And I can smell the fresh scent of the leaves rising. And I'm looking forward to moving on to the next step in which we are going to steam them and roll them. So, let's see what comes next. We have arrived at Marumo factory. Just look at this giant warehouse here. Inside are loads of machines for making tea from steaming to drying. And I'm looking forward to getting a very hands on experience though. So Honda san is already waiting for me inside with all the tea leaves that we've just picked. So let's go and get started. We're inside the factory, and at the moment, Honda san is drying the leaves. I'm going to put on two pairs of gloves because it's very hot. In Nando, could I? This is 220 degrees. 220 degrees. 220 degrees. I think two pairs of gloves are an excellent idea. <laughs> Normally, when you have,、um, so you're making Japanese green tea, is that you have to stop the enzymes、um, in the leaves to stop it from oxidizing. And turning brown, and that would end up being black tea. In order to do this, normally they steam it. That would take a really long time. So today we're adopting the Chinese method of using this kame. This is. The cause of stopping is that it stops it from oxidizing and turning brown. The cause of stopping is that it stops it from oxidizing and turning brown. The cause of stopping is that it stops it from oxidizing and turning brown. The cause of stopping is that it stops it from oxidizing and turning brown. So, if you don't make sure it's heated all the way through, even into the stem, which is thicker than the leaves, then inside the stem it's going to oxidize and turn into black tea, and the leaves are going to be green tea. And then it's a tea with no identity at all. Terrible. If you don't do it properly, the leaves will turn red, so they call it a shrimp because when you cook the shrimp, it turns red too. Ebi wa ne dashi ya dame desu. Aja, ebi ni nara nai yoni. So, it does not become a shrimp. We are working hard to remove the moisture. Continue. Green. Continue green. Not. Not in mass. It's really fragrant.、Oh, so good. Not yet, Phoebe. I'm already thinking about the next step. <laughs> I feel really lucky to be able to do this. I mean, normally they do use a big steaming machine, and to be able to use this old-fashioned method and really get a hands-on experience and get up this close with the tea leaves, actually see、um, them change. Being processed,、I、actually witness it with my own eyes, feel it with my own hands, and smell it. It's just a really incredible experience, and it makes me appreciate just how much the kind of care and thought that goes into making the tea, 
and like to watch it so closely to make sure even the stems are properly heated. It just kind of is blowing my mind, to be honest. So now we're really rolling this to try and get all of the rest of the moisture out, particularly in the middle of the stems. So you've got to be quite forceful, and I'm being very messy. It, this moves in order to allow you to move it forward more easily and roll it round rather than getting getting it stuck. Call you. Washi. 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 So this is normally three layers thick of paper, Japanese paper. But this one is five layers, so it's extra sturdy. So we're back doing the second round of rolling it to remove more of the moisture. I am doing my best to zigzag this tea across the paper board because if you don't press it, the water will not come out the middle. Okay, my goal, my goal. No, there's lots of lost children. I've lost all the tea children. No! Stop, stop losing children. Rolling it round, rolling it round, rolling it round, rolling it round, rolling it like a sausage. Oh, I've got a sausage, a tea sausage. Sorry, tea sausage, come on the side. I don't know. I have a tea baby. It's like dough, and I feel like I should bake it in the oven, but I feel that is not the next step. これですね。丸めるとですね、中だけ温度が上がるんですよ。ああ。そうするとあの蒸れて味が変わるので、たまに割ります。Well, we gotta break it up. Rotation worker, John. さようなら。Goodbye to my baby. Okay, so you're gonna break it up. It's like a little bit sticky, and you have to break it apart to make sure all the little hardened lumps are completely fragmented. Having spent ages trying to put it into one, you take it all apart again. My wife is very worried about it, but she doesn't want to go out of the house. She's very worried about it. Honda-san has given me another good example of why rolling the tea is something they do. When you think about an artist, they just want to paint a picture. If we think about people who make tea, they're also artists of tea. And they just want to make it like that because it's nice, because it's the way they do things. And that actually allows for some kind of expression through the kind of tea they choose to make. It's hard to believe that this, just a few hours ago, was a fresh tea leaf, and that beautiful bright green bush beneath Mount Fuji has become these dried tea leaves. But I'm quite excited to drink it. And that's what's coming next, finally. The tea is complete. Okay, this. Okay, about that amount. So the steam has decreased. It's pretty much time to pour into the teapot. Okay, pouring it back into the jug. Let's see what colour it's become. It's a bright, but a lighter yellow than the tea we picked earlier for the first one. It doesn't feel as luminescent, but we are inside, so it's hard to compare fairly. I want to be fair. Mm, very light, gentle, refreshing. Okay, time for the second round. I'm already feeling it energized. Wow, yeah, but it's getting bigger. Look at it expanding. Look at this. Oh, do you kanji desu ka? This is a different smell of the summer. Very like, gentle, refreshing, mellow. So apparently we can go three, four, five times for the round. Here we go. Third time round. Compared to the first tea we tried, which the second time was the most full-bodied, 
This time it feels weightier in my mouth. I am ingesting spring and this is the most refreshing way to end a day after learning how to make tea. Thank you very much for today. Yeah, welcome. おめでとうございます。Thank I feel like today I learned a lot about tea, but I also like it the shincha, the fresh new tea tastes like spring. And that made me really happy, so I kind of want to give it out to friends and family. It comes with happiness and good thoughts and good memories, so hopefully they will accept that. So I have to be generous very quickly. Hmm, I'll have a think on that. Uh, one last thing before we go, I want to say that Honda-san has an amazing experience with Bai Food, that where you can Make your own blend of tea, adding special spices and flowers, sitting among the tea fields with the view of Mount Fuji. So I very much recommend you check it out. Today's experience was a little bit special, but who knows what's coming in future. And I hope that you have learned something about tea. I have learned a lot. And every cup of green tea, I'm going to appreciate so much more. So thank you very much for watching. And thank you again to Honda-san. And we'll see you next time.